today I'm going to be going over the attributes and letting you know what some of these mean because I know the game does not tell you. So you have impact. Impact is when you strike an enemy. It's how likely they are to be stunned or knocked back. The higher the number, the more likely the chance. Immobilization, every enemy has an, an invisible bar on them. You can't see it, but they do have a bar where they can be immobilized. Uh, let's, a couple of them are immune. I haven't messed with the immobilization build since the beta. But you can immobilize anything, uh, from my understanding, with a high immobilization weapon. Uh, just depends on the resistance of the enemy. So the higher your immobilization, the more likely you are to get the enemy to be stunned, stay, like frozen for a couple seconds. That's what immobilization is. Critical hit multiplier. I've noticed uh, I was watching a little bit of streams while I was waiting on the game to release. And... Um, you would think critical hit, you have a chance to do critical hits on every hit. You don't. Critical hit is only when you do stealth attacks. You could do a thousand hits on a dude with the same level weapon. It will 1,000 times be the same damage. Critical hit multiplier only affects your stealth assassination uh, move. Affliction multiplier affects your flame, frost, and electric how quickly uh they get frozen how long they get frozen how much damage they take how quickly the build up is grapple i don't even know why they put that there that's for the grappling hook i mean as clear as day grappling momentum and ram that's the three abilities why are they even there at all 100 it's so stupid but yes grappling is for your grappling hook <laughs> ram um I'm guessing Momentum is the Shadow Bash and Ram is the other one. I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense. Special move damage, obviously, is the special move uh, on your weapon. Fumation, Frost, Flame damage, Physical damage. That's all pretty basic. That's whatever your weapon says, the higher the number. If it's Physical Base, Flame Base, Frost Base, fl Electric Base. If the number is higher, you'll do more damage. You'll get more build up faster. On to a very confusing one. I mean, I know what it is, but the game does not tell you in any regard what balance actually is. Balance does two things. One, when you're doing a charged attack, you'll take less damage if you get hit while in the midst of a charged animation. It also makes you less likely to be staggered and more likely that you'll get your shot off if you get hit. So you can actually trade blows. I trade blows all the time at 31% with my build. Armor reduces all physical damage. It's not going to reduce flame. It's not going to reduce frost. It's not going to uh, reduce electric. That's reducing anything that's not flame, frost, or electric. Obviously, flame, frost, and electric resistance lower the damage taken from those elements. And um, that's about it. Loot multiplier is pretty basic. That's your chance when you get items. Um, and that's about it. I know some of this stuff could be quite confusing so that, since the game does not tell you and they have no uh, codex or anything that actually tells you what this stuff means. So I just wanted to let y'all know. I hope that helps.